this video I'm going to be working out an individual derivative. It is going to be a trig derivative and um, it's going to involve chain rule and some power rule here. Okay, so we've got y equals the sine of x to the one-third plus sine x raised to the one-third. All right, and basically I've got two terms in this uh, um, equation here, so I'm going to focus on the first term and then the second term and work each uh, derivative out. So um, here I have my outside function is sine, my inside function is x to the one-third. Okay, so looking at this I will have a y prime is equal to. All right, so for chain here I need to take the derivative of the outside function, leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside. So derivative of sine is cosine, leave the inside function alone, so this would be x to the one-third, all right? And then times the derivative of the inside. So I'm going to use the ddx notation. And so that we know that we have to calculate the derivative here of x to the one-third. All right, so all of this is from that right there. Now I've got my plus sign. Now I'm going to come over here and do the second one, all right? My inside function is sine x. My outside function is something being raised to the one-third power. So I'm going to do power rule on my outside function and then chain on the inside there. So the derivative of that outside function would be pull that one-third down in front, leave the inside alone, all right, subtract 1 from that exponent, so 1 third minus 1 is going to give me a negative 2 thirds. All right, and then times the derivative of the inside, again showing that ddx notation there, it'll be sine x. All right, in my next line here, I'm going to leave everything the same and just take these two derivatives right here. So I'm going to have a cosine x to the 1 third. All right, derivative right here, pull that uh, one-third down in front, so I'll have a one-third x to the negative two-thirds. All right, leaving this one alone, I'll have the one-third sine x to the negative two-thirds. All right, derivative here for sine is going to be cosine x. All right, now, what I'm going to do at this point is um, I'm going to clean this answer up. I'm going to recognize that I have two terms. So all of this is being multiplied together, so that's a term. There's my plus sign that separates my terms. And then this is everything multiplied together, again, creating another term. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a greatest common factor. All right, looking through this, I have a greatest common factor of the one-third. So I'm going to pull a one-third out in front. Okay, so y prime is going to be equal to one-third out in front. All right, so the one-third is gone in this term right here. Now I'm just going to uh, clean these two things up. This is an x to the negative two-thirds. I don't want negative exponent, so I'm going to move it to the bottom, and I'm going to leave the uh, cosine of x to the one-third there in the top. So cosine x to the one-third, and you could even write that as the cube root of x if you wanted. All right, bringing this down, I would have an x to a positive two-thirds. And again, if you wanted the cube root of x squared, that would be fine there, too. All right, the one-third, I factored out. And so on this term right here, the cosine x is going to stay on the top. This has a negative exponent, so I'm going to bring it to the bottom. So I'll have a cosine x. Bringing this to the bottom, I'm going to have a sine x raised to the two-thirds. All right, so like I said, that would be a perfectly acceptable answer. If you wanted to get common denominators here on the inside, you couldn't add them. Um, if not, you wouldn't need to. Each of these also could be written as like the cube root of sine x squared, the cube root here, and the cube root there. Um, so a pretty straightforward individual derivative, a couple chains there, and definitely two terms, and then you know how you clean that answer up at the end is um, your choice. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Thanks.